Melodic Metal Rockers, Voyager, will fly the flag for Australia at the Eurovision final in the United Kingdom. The local band says it's been a wild experience and they appreciate the support from home. From Perth to Liverpool. It's been an emotional and exciting journey for local band Voyager. It started off with a, with a hashtag Voyager for Eurovision in 2015 when Australia was announced to be a part of the contest. And it was kind of, it was a bit tongue in cheek. At the same time, there's always that little bit of hope. You're like, yeah, we could do this. Because people around the world have told us, and when we're touring, you know, we've got seven albums out, we've done a whole bunch of world tours. People have always told us, you guys would be great on Eurovision. And we looked at ourselves and went, Yes. <laughs> the synth metal rockers become Australia's first group to compete on the global stage in the Eurovision Song Contest. We are a band about entertainment and catchiness, earworms, yep. earworms. and, and yep. just groove-laden epicness. You know, so what we want to do is just basically dial our songs up to 11 in a, in a compositional way. Not necessarily volume. Yeah, um, sometimes. We're, we're, we're reasonable human beings here. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, basically just give our audience the best show we can, but also music that is top quality. Honestly, the support has been overwhelming. Even the Deputy Premier got involved, the Minister for, for Tourism, the Minister for Creative Arts, you know. They were loving a photo op with the, with the key tar. So um, from, from, from the politics, the echelons of politics, to just your sort of grassroots level, people are super excited. People not just not just in Perth, but all over Australia. They're excited um, that it's us. They're excited that, that it's a band. And they're excited that, you know, that we're really repping and being ambassadors for Australian music. After winning last year, Ukraine was in line to host the 67th edition of the popular contest. But due to the Russian invasion, the UK has stepped in. They've done the colours and you know very tastefully to recognise that they're hosting on behalf of Ukraine. Um, it's just a it's it's a great vibe. It's re, it's a real party vibe. And to be honest, it's it's exceeded my expectations. People are oh, Liverpool, but it's like it is going off. It's great. Twenty contenders will now compete for the title in Sunday's grand finale. I think we just feel overwhelmingly lucky, yeah. um, but also. Um, we, we're kind of, I guess, taking stock of what we've, we've done as a band and we kind of come to realise that, wow, we are meant to be here. Like, we do feel like we deserve to be on this stage and we feel capable and yeah. ready and willing uh, to do our best, represent our country and our, and our music genre, yeah. you know, and, and bands in Australia. It's just a wild experience. Me, it's gonna be all right. Voyager will embark on a national tour next month. Samantha Foxen, Sky News.